Hello guys, it's uh, Retro Prime here. Um, Friday afternoon, so I thought I'd do another wee video. A wee quick one, hopefully. Although quick for me can be 10 minutes. Just ask the wife. Um, <laughs> oh, she'll kill me when she sees that one. Uh, yeah, I watched my friend Rich Zortrider um, do a video on something this week and it was some KOs that he picked up from uh, B&M Bargains here in the UK. And um, while I don't usually go for KOs, I've got a KO Pro um, that I got at TF Nation last year, just purely for you know, like what, like to see what these masterpiece KOs, what quality they were like. Um, no regrets buying it, but I've still got this stigma with KOs where I'm not. I, just, I don't know what it is. I've not got it in my head if I want to start buying KOs. To be honest, although can you see the one on the shelf? Leave a comment if you can see the KO there. Um, but anyway, so Rich did this video and I, uh, these things were so dumb I thought, you know, I'm going to pick one up because I've got to see what this is like in my hand. Um, and it is B&M's Transforming Robot. Now, it's an upsized or an upscaled red alert. Red alert. Red alert. Red alert. From the Combiner Wars line. What the fuck is this thing all about? Now, let's look at the packaging. These are all metal colours. $9.99, can you see? $9.99 or two for 15 quid. That's how fucking expensive these things are. I've just noticed my heart's on the wrong way. Oh well. Um, for ages, six plus. It's got so it's, I don't know if you'd call it stolen red alert artwork or if it's repurposed, but they've got they've got drawings of red alert in both modes. It says medical officer, guard rescue, <laughs> and also ambulance, armored vehicles. Um, on the side, it's got what looks to be streetwise, and it says convert robot to car, hollow, uh, transforming robot. Um, I quite like those colours. They're, they're almost like wheeljack esque. I quite like those. The other side, it's just more, more, more you've got um, Rook there. And that was the other one Rich had. And I would have got that today as well if it had been there, but it wasn't. But that's, that's your old green Rook. Just says, transforming hands and legs. Just like me. Uh, convert robot to cars. Uh, now, on the back, top just says the normal. On the back you've got the big picture of... I'll try not to get the glare on it. Now, if... Uh, God, I really think I want to get all of these to be honest. It's so fucking stupid and dumb. I think I want to get them all, but it's got the full picture of defense or there. Oh, I just hit myself in the face there. Um, yeah, it says transform hands and legs, robots, all the same. On the bottom, there's transformation instructions and a not to three sad onion. Not to three sad onions. Three. Yeah. Anyway, right. Let's give it the box. There we are. Um, first impressions. Not. It's not that really sort of thin, brittle feeling plastic. It does feel slightly heavy. Um, hmm. Sorry. Yeah. Um, it does feel slightly heavy. Um, you can tell it's a, a knockoff from Combiner Wars for the simple fact it has paint apps, and that means it's not a real Combiner Wars because the fucking real one has nothing. Um, that's not true, but I've always had an issue with the paint apps on Combiner Wars. Um, just for a size comparison, is the original. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So that, I love this figure. The head sculpt on Red Alert is absolutely fantastic. My well, one gripe with the Combiner Wars, and I don't know if I, I must have said it in one of my previous videos, is they could have done a little bit to disguise the the com combination joint. It just, I mean, they go, they go to the effort of painting the, the chest, but then just leave that bare. That's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> he's got green and red and silver and a gold face for some reason and a wee, he's even got a wee meh mouth that I can't be able to see it. He's like meh, like he's going meh. And then there's paint on and the paint isn't really too shabby to be honest. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of splodges here and there, but even compared to my, my R.I.D. Bl uh, blur, the paint was worse than that, to be honest. 
Yeah, um, articulation seems to be... Now, I'm sure he can... Oh, I don't snap it. I was sure it went left or right, but it doesn't seem to. Um, it's a separate piece, and it does look like there's a... Hang on. No, it doesn't. It's on a square peg, so then it just slides on. So, I suppose I can turn his head if I want to put the... <laughs> put it on in a different direction. No, I got him. Right, so there's no head articulation. Up and down movement if you want to use a transformation joint, I suppose. Um, ball joint up the, the shoulder. Um, a very, very weirdly articulated arm joint. Oh, no, I suppose the arm joint's like that in the original, actually. Um, no no th sort of bicep swivel. Um, he's got a waist swivel. And the knee joint. Kind of gets some bend out of it, I suppose. The legs are off on a bit. To be honest, um, like not falling to bits as in like breaking. I just mean they're like they're not tabbing in so securely. Yeah, but that may be because the bit, yeah, there's a the bit in there, the little peg that I can't be able to see it because light and shit. There's a little bit there where where the peg keeps the legs so it's close together. It's broken. Oh no, my cheap toys, cheap how shit is that? So there you go. It comes with his fire axe. Which isn't too bad actually. That that's a that's quite a decent wee wee. It's quite a decent big axe. That I think may go with another figure because this I think will go in the bin. But um, yeah, comes with its combiner hand or foot, which has the joint for moving there. Has no articulation on the heel or the thumb. Um, can the hand? I'm assuming it looks like the hand can come out, but I think I'll get it. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that's what his hands gonna look like. Some sort of giant extruding thumb. There you go. Don't know. That's not too bad, I think. Right. Shall I put it into transformation mode? Oh, the like the, the, the back. I don't know if that's just for packaging, but the the the, the, the bonnet wasn't on it. So I shall clip it on post haste. There you go. Oh yeah, it stays on securely. Right. Let's get into transformation it. Transformation it? No, transformation was just as simple as its official counterpart. That's actually no bad at all. There's it's got things like like rescue and rescue and ambulance there and stuff. And rescue thing on top. It's not too bad. It clips together fairly well. Um I don't know, Rich when he did his video said that his that the front part wouldn't clip in properly. That there's two little tabs underneath that you have to tab in going against the transformation, if that's what makes sense. So rather than fold it down and clip it in like that, like you do with the, with the original, you have to like clip it down and then it's, it's almost like you have to force it in the joint, but it does tab in dead well. Yeah, there you go, size comparison again. Fucking massive difference. Um, axe, like, store, it can store on the arse, I think. Which would kind of make sense, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that's no shabby toy for a tenner, to be honest. That's uh, it's no shabby at all. If mine didn't have the broken peg on the bottom of the leg, I'd have no QC issues. <laughs> Apart from like, like lack of articulation and stuff. But if you give that to a kid, and it rolls, if you give that to a kid who was kind into Transformers, they wouldn't know the difference, I don't think. I'm talking a young kid, obviously. I'm not a kid my age. But yeah, so there you go. Like I said, I don't know if I'll pick up these guys, but if I just come across them at random, at random intervals and, and can grab them one or two at a time, then I will, because I think it'd be funny to see a, a fucking Defensor that was like this, bigger than my, my Combiner Wars Devastator. Because obviously if you think about it, come on, don't break. If you think about it, that'll be like the size of the leg, with the foot. Like this. So that's the size of the leg compared to the... So this guy's going to be fucking massive. Yeah. <laughs> I was out for a tenner. Better than any of the official Transformer shit that was in the shops to do. Anyway. So I thought I'd do a quick re-review for anybody who might be slightly interested. Like I said, I don't tend to buy cables. Um, even the, the high quality ones. I've got Prowl at TF Nation. And he's good. He is, he is good. He's almost as good as the real thing. Um, and I've got one here. Can you see it? 
and uh, and then that one. Um, but even the ones that are like better than the official quality, there's just something about not buying official for me that I kind of get past. Wish I could, cause it would save me money. Not that I spend it on much big toys these days at the moment. Um, but I don't know. I'm not. It's just something about KOs that I just don't want to fully get in at the moment. But then again, I've not really had a super high quality one that would make me think. Well, why would I spend money on the official stuff? There is a lot of moral sort of questions to be asked about knockoffs. But then the same should be said about third party. IP theft is the same as design theft, it's theft. Um, so the line can only be drawn, as far as I'm concerned, at official or unofficial. It doesn't matter. There's no, there's no justification for it. There's no, more, there's no like, well, it's a, it's a brand new design. It's clearly Optimus Prime. Oh, well, it's oversized, so it's dumb. It's a, it's a stolen mold from your official company. How can you be a Transformers fan? be quite happy with stolen or usurped or even replicated stuff. I don't know. I don't want to get the, the KO debate because it's kind of a bit, folk get grumpy with it like, because they feel like they'd have to de defend their position. But you don't have to. If you want to buy KOs, buy KOs. If you want to buy third party, buy third party. I would if I could afford them. They're fucking lovely. But if you want to just buy official stuff, that's great. Whatever makes you happy. Is that you shouldn't have to explain yourself. But I do think there is a as a collective, when you call yourself Transformers fans, you have to ask yourself, what are you a fan of? Are you a fan of Transformers? Because that ain't a Transformer. That's a knockoff. Um, my Bad Cube Sun Surge, which is the only third party I've got, is not a Transformer. It's a transforming robot, who just happens to look like a Sunstreaker. Yeah, anyway, hope you like that. It might be fun and I got off serious at the end there. Uh, yeah, so enjoy your Friday night and the rest of your weekend and enjoy the rest of your life. I shall see you soon. Cheerio.